here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 people on the channel welcome welcome my friends I hope you're all doing amazing and today today we're gonna build a multi-purpose lot um, it's gonna be a restaurant combined with a nightclub now um, for those who are curious how it's gonna work basically I build in the same lot and as you can see we are on the top floor of one of the skyscrapers in San Maisuno. This is the fashion district and it's a 40 by 30 uh, uh, size of a lot. Now, don't mistake it with another uh, um, top floor on a skyscraper that we also have in the same map. Uh, you must place this one in the fashion district one, which is the top not top, I think it's the most left one, left district on the San Maisuna map. Now, th there is one tiny difference between those two top floor um, skyscraper uh, uh, lots. One of them does have one of their uh, corner a bit rounded and the other one has all four corners 90 degrees So you must place this one over here because this one is the one with the rounded uh, uh, Corner, okay, so uh, oh and if you are curious to know how it's gonna work right now You can see me creating the overall design of the build and it's gonna be split into two sections. The first one is the one that we are creating right now which is gonna be the nightclub itself now, the other part of it, it's gonna be the back side of it. And I, just imagine that I cut this lot into two. I'm not quite sure if they're like exactly 50%. Uh, um, like the cat is only, like, like the cat is 50%. One side is gonna be for the, for the restaurant. The second one is gonna be for the nightclub. It's not gonna be exactly 50%. I think the nightclub is a bit bigger than the restaurant. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see right now, we are making the, the nightclub side and in order for this to function as I intended it to, to, to be, basically what I did is to build a nightclub and then fill all the requirement items for the nightclub. And then I moved to create the restaurant and I made sure that I have all the requirement uh, or the required items for the restaurant. And, and once I had basically in the same lot all the items for each type of lot, that's it. That's how I created a one lot that has two purposes. You can play this build, as you can see from the intro, in like let's say at night it can be a nightclub and in the morning or in, at, at the, the afternoon um, evening it can be a restaurant and just think about the beautiful view that you can have here uh, uh, eating your your uh, meal over over this place uh, so this is basically how you can do a multi-purpose lots in the game and if you are curious to know why I created a multi-purpose slot in, in, in the game and I think this is the first time I'm making something like this although it's not the first time I'm making a multi-purpose uh, a lot in the game so if you want to check it go to my channel and see how I created some other builds that do have more than one purpose um, but uh, I asked you people you my lovely followers I asked you I think it was the last time I hostess a survey or, or maybe it's it was one one before that it doesn't really you know important but I asked you what is the the, the type of law that you most enjoy sending your sim to have a nice day out or, or evening out and you said that the first one like the, the number one uh, that you picked was restaurants and you know that I'm creating a lot of restaurants so so it was I was really relieved to hear that, that, that I'm creating restaurants that you can enjoy and you do enjoy them. And the second, the, the number two for that in that survey, not by a lot, but I think it was like 25% of you uh, said restaurants, maybe even more than 25%. The second um, 
Second from the top were nightclubs. And I said, why not to combine the two of them and give you one law that has those two type of lots in it. Now, the thing here that is, you're still gonna need to change the type of the lot. Uh, when I will upload it to the gallery, and by the way, if you want to download this bill, it's on my gallery, go look for it, Architect, if you are new here. Uh, um, this is the, the name of my gallery. Also subscribe to the channel if you are new here and um, hit the bell notification button so you won't miss my future builds. But anyway, on the gallery, on my gallery, Architect, just like the name of the channel, you can find this build. Once you download it into your game, if you want it to be a nightclub, I think I will upload it as a nightclub, but if you want to change it into a restaurant, you need to go to building mode and change the lot type from uh, on the top left corner over there and uh, then it will be a um, like like a restaurant now i got to tell you that there were some i don't i want to call them like major problems that those weren't really major problems i think they were more like minor um, when I created this build, of course, I did all the playtesting to make sure it's, I'm going to release to you something that is functional and usable. You know, I, I do not upload things that are not. And I want to make sure that it is usable. So I played the restaurant. I played the nightclub. It was so fun. You can see the beginning of the video, the, the intro. You can see some of the gameplay, basically. Um, when I played the restaurant type of this lot, uh, something kind of weird happened. When the waiter, 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 wait, waitresses, how do you, you know what I mean, those who give you the food, <laughs> forgot the name. Anyway, when they took the meal from the, from the chef station and brought it to my sim location, to my sim table, um, they took the long route, which was kind of going all around. <laughs> they they kind of took the, the really long route instead of the, the kind of really short one. There is, like, there are stairs kind of close to the kitchen, to the, to the um, restaurant, and they decided not to do that. They took the long route around it. I think this might be a problem related to one of those ropes I put there just for the beauty of it. Um, I, I placed some ropes that's supposed to uh, um, keep people in line, you know, waiting for a table. So, uh, so I think I'm just gonna take them down and I'll test it, play test it again to see if it's gonna work. But they took the long route, so if it's happening to you, maybe the meals are gonna be a bit cold when they're gonna reach your table, but I, I do apologize for that. <laughs> and, oh, by the way, you could see that I created it right here. This is the it's the outside area of, of the nightclub, okay? We are still making the nightclub. This is still the, the nightclub section. And you can see over there I placed some, um, you know, some spots to hang out with your, uh, with your friends, your company to the, to the nightclub if you decide to go with uh, or as a group. And there was an outside or an outdoor bar over there. And I gotta tell you that one thing is really bugging me currently in the Sims 4 game, and it's the fact that bars, if you have more than one bar on a lot that is running by the game, for example, if, if I just created a restaurant and you are not going to be the owner of that restaurant and the game is going to be the, the owner of the restaurant and you're just going to visit this place with your Sim, um, what's going to happen if you have more than, if you have like multiple bars uh, in your in your game and in here I made I think four <laughs> four bars because each bar um, you know in my mind I wanted them to to just to contribute to the environment feeling or the, the, the to add some character to, to the build or to, to you know just to add a bit more um, juice to the build so so I added more stations of bar so they will fit the section that I placed them so I added four of them because you have one bar over there at the, at the front of the of the um, nightclub. You have one bar in the restaurant section. You have one bar inside the nightclub because it's just logical. And you have another bar at the second sto store, at the second floor uh, of the nightclub. For it's supposed to be like the VIP section, you know. So over there you're also gonna have a bar and. The game, currently the game, how it works, that if the game is the one who are running this place, 
it will only bring one mixologist or a um, like a bar, uh, how do you call them, bartenders, it will only gonna like the, the the game will bring only one of them, even if you have more than one bar in the lot, which is kinda and I'm sorry, it's a kinda stupid. <laughs> it's a kinda stupid. If you have more than one bar, why the game cannot bring more bartenders to tend all those bars? You know what I mean? So I had to take down that outdoor bar over there that kind of has a beautiful view to the to the night city and um, to the night city, you know, you, you know, the city at night, uh, the view of the city at night. Uh, so I had to take that bar down because when I play tested this game, this this build um, at the night uh, club testing part of it. Uh, the game brought a mixologist to that bar and I didn't want it. I wanted to bring the, the, the bartender to the bar inside the, the, the nightclub. So I had to take that, you know, bar down from the build. I do apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, and right now you can see me creating those tiny details with the brand new kit. Well, kind of brand new kit. It's already like two weeks old now. Uh, with the clutter kit. I really, really love that kit. So many items that are so useful. Those, um, those, th there is a small change. I call it small basket with change. It kind of looks like the, 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 small a basket that they bring you with the bill at the end of your meal where you can place your tip or something like that um so i kind of placed it over there on the tables and i placed them i scattered those items uh around the restaurant sections uh, a bit more and right now we're making the kitchen a really nice kitchen i started with one chef station and then i figured i have so many tables at this bill so i decided to add another one so if you want to be the owner of this build you can of course and then you have two chef stations uh to bring out food so you definitely can be really efficient uh, uh with uh with that kitchen not a big one but it is fully usable you're gonna see that at the end of this video when you can watch the the um the cinematics at the end you're gonna see how this kitchen is kind of working it's, it's kind of simple one uh, but very very you know efficient you can bring two dishes quite fast and you don't need to worry about uh, people waiting for their order and uh, yeah so, um, so so those I think this was like the, the thing with the bar uh, I think it was the major problem of of this build. Uh, I, again, I don't I don't see it as a problem, but I still see it as a problem in game. Again, I don't really understand why the Sims cannot make more, like bring more uh, bartenders to all the bars in the same lot. Uh, why we only need one <laughs> to be usable, or why we can only have one to be usable by. Uh, bartenders so i really hope that they will fix that one day now um one thing that i'm not quite sure that you're gonna see me doing in this build is creating the restroom just like always i think i think that you kind of <laughs> you kind of already know that i don't really like showing you creating the restroom i don't i don't I don't spend a lot of time creating them because I don't think they are super interesting. Usually what you have in, in those public restrooms are, you know, toilets, you have uh, sinks, you have maybe uh, some towels or those paper towels and a trash. So that's that's the usual or the, the, the average design that I do in, in, in my community builds. That's why I usually I don't show them. And, and if you're gonna see them, um, I just want to let you know that at least in one of them, I think it was the one in the in the nightclub, like the toilets, like the restrooms of the nightclub, are kind of kind of nice because one of the toilet I wanted to add a bit more tiny deets, you know, something a bit different. So one of them is kind of broken, <laughs> and one of the and, and and I did that basically by using the foundation, the foundation, not foundation fountains the fountains from the found the custom made fountain that you can create in the, in the in the game there are those tiny lip water sprayer thing i i don't really remember sprayer lip 
sprayers I don't know how do you, how do you call that um, but I use that and I shove it inside one of the of the toilet and uh, and I placed some tools around it and I made it look like there is one of the like one of the uh, restroom stools is kind of broken something nice something nice I'm not quite sure you're gonna see it but I just want to let you know that that was uh, that that was a uh, special treat that, <laughs> that I gave to one of the one of the toilets in, in this build. Now, uh, one thing that I gotta ask you, and I think we are kinda far into the video, so you probably can or maybe noticed it. So I'm gonna just ask it. What thing that you need to have in this build I haven't placed yet in the nightclub? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to think about it. Let's see if you if you manage to to catch it with your eye. And I, I gotta tell you that I really love those lightings that I, I placed there. In general, I really love that nightclub. I, I think it was one of the best nightclubs that I made. I think I made already like four or five of them. I really love that design. Do it middle, what do you think about the design? And those strips, those neon strips, I'm using them all day long when I'm creating uh, something related to uh, to nightclubs and, and and you know what not just nightclubs you can use those beautiful strips um, like neon strips or stripes how do you how do you say them um, you can use them even in custom-made shelves with lighting underneath in kitchens you, you can really you can really be you know uh, creative with with those stripes so I highly recommend for you to you to uh, get them but by but, but wait a minute people what thing I kind of forgot to add to this bill? You have the answer? Okay, the answer is a door to get inside, <laughs> to get inside the nightclub. I kind of forgot that and uh, yeah, so uh, in a bit I'm gonna explain to you what changes I made to, to enter it, or to enter it, to, to add it, not to enter it, to enter the nightclub, but what changes I made to, to, uh, to bring the, the door into this uh, build. But right now, you can see that I created one of the things that I really, really proud of in this build. And those are those columns that I created with the brand new, uh, how do they call it, pastel stuff kit? I, I don't remember the name of the kit. But it came, I think it came with the clutter kit or, or around the time of the clutter kit. And I just love those. Uh, I think those are supposed to be like end tables, but I just stack them together to create a huge columns from the bottom of the, the nightclub to the top of the nightclub, like from the first floor, second floor, and to the ceiling. And I just love them. They have those tiny holes inside of them or that, that tiny gap inside with uh, some lightings. I really love them and I, 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 I think it's one of the greatest thing in the nightclub design in this build. And I gotta tell you people, if you are curious to know that the inspiration for the nightclub or for this nightclub was actually my nightclub. No, no, I don't own a nightclub in real life. My nightclub at the Grand Theft Auto 5 game um, or Grand Theft Auto Online, more like it. You can own a nightclub over there. And um, that was my inspiration, uh, the nightclub I own in that game. So yeah, just letting you know, that's letting you know. And right here we have the bar section. I I really love all those neon lights. I, I gotta tell you, I, I want more. I want more in the game. I think one of the biggest problem right now in the game are lightnings. Light, not lightnings, like lightings. <laughs> all the lights, you know what I mean? The, the, the illumination of them is kinda wonky in some places. Uh, kind of weird they, they do not look like natural light and I really wish that they will fix that uh, or you know they, they really need to do a makeover for the lighting section in the game or how it works in the game so it will feel a bit more natural and uh, yeah so oh 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 okay so in here you, you can see the right side of the, that sofa where I just placed that poster that uh, orange ish poster over there, you're gonna find the door <laughs> that is missing from this build, okay? So that, that's where you're gonna find it. Uh, so so uh, what I did, by the way, I just wanna let you know that 
in my build, I made, like, that door is gonna be a door for uh, only famous sims. So you need to change the, the, the amount of, of stars that, uh, that uh, your sim can uh, enter. I think it's gonna be one, I'm not quite sure about it. Uh, because I even used a lot trait and I made this place the hottest spot in town. So you're supposed to have like this is like an exclusive nightclub for for your sim you know what i mean but you can you can just remove it if you want it to uh to be for all sims uh be my guest just remove it change it but th that's that's where the door's supposed to be and oh by the way you can see the restroom you could see you just we just finished it but uh but yeah that was the restroom that i told you that one is them one of them is broken and over here this is going to be the um like vip lounge and oh speaking of lounge by the way if you want to make this build even a lounge lot type you just need to add one music instrument that's it that's the only thing that is missing is a lounge uh, um music instrument i believe even you can add to the dj section or to dj spot over there you can maybe add a music mixer that also counts as a music instrument so you can add that to that area and you're gonna have a fully lounge lot so this build can actually be three type of lots and you're just gonna need to change the type of the lot every time you want it to be something else okay so at the end this is gonna be a really i think in my opinion it's gonna be a really awesome uh, build to play because you you have so many things that you can do in here you can have it to be you can have it to be a nightclub you can have it to be um, a restaurant. And by the way, if you missed, just like I placed right now some effects uh, uh, machines on the ceiling, you do have some of them hidden in the lighting um, above, like, like above the dancing floor. Uh, those, um, I don't know how to, those dropping, drop lights that I placed in the middle of the, the dancing floor. Over there, you also gonna have um, like, uh, uh, machine for effects so what i use mostly is uh i'm using the confetti effect and the bubble effect i think this is the most suitable one for for nightclubs but again your uh your decision just change the effect the way you want it anyway we are getting closer to the tour moment so i'm just gonna ask you to like this video if you if you enjoy it subscribe to the channel if you are new here and and uh hit the bell notification so you won't miss my future builds i really do hope that you enjoyed this video enjoy the tour and i'll see you again at the next video until next time keep that same spot going for me architect out Told you if we dance in the blizzard, we are not.